Hello everybody, thank you for watching this video. My name is Amjad Desai and I am a post-production consultant based in Abu Dhabi. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to work with the Sony XAVC footage on an Avid Media Composer. Now, before I jump into Avid, I want to mention a few things. For this demonstration, I have shot some footage on the Sony F55 camera on the S by S card. To import this material, I'm going to use the Sony SBAC US20 card reader. Now, if you don't have this card reader, you could be using the Sonnet Thunderbolt card reader, which is available in the market. So let's get started. All right, so I have copied the material on my desktop. There were three clips recorded on the Sony F55 camera. The total storage required for this material is about 20.5 GB, and it took me about one and a half minutes to copy this material on my machine. I'm working on a MacBook Pro with a 2.6 GHz Intel Core i7 processor. It has 8 GB RAM on it and an NVIDIA GeForce card. Now before we can start working with the XAVC 4K material on Media Composer, we need to install a plugin that is available from the Sony Creative Software website. So let's do that. I will open up Safari and let's go to the Sony Creative Software website. On the Sony website, I will go to the Software menu and from the drop down, I'm going to choose the software for Sony equipment. On the software page, I'm going to scroll down to look for the XD Cam plugin for Avid and click on it. On the XD Cam plugin page, I am going to click on the download button. If I scroll down now, I will see the latest version of the plugin available for different operating systems. As I'm working on a Mac operating system, I'm going to use the XD Cam plugin for Mac. I'm going to select that and I'm going to click on the download button. So I have downloaded the Sony plugin on my desktop. Let's install it. We have the plugin installed and we are ready to jump into Avid Media Composer. So let me start Media Composer. I'm using the 8.2 version of Media Composer for this demonstration. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to import XAVC 4K material into Media Composer, add it to a timeline sequence, and export it as a ProRes video clip. All right, so let me start by creating a new project. Let me give it a name. Click on OK. And I'm going to just select my project and click on the OK button. The first thing I want to do is import my XAVC material into my project. I'm going to do that by selecting the bin, go to the file menu and click on the AMA link. I have saved my material on the desktop, so I'm going to access that. XAVC rushes. My footage is inside the clip folder. Sometimes the AMA plugin does not detect the XAVC format. So I'm going to change the file type to XAVC directly. And then I'm going to select one of these clips and click on the open button. Let me repeat the steps. Okay, so now that we have our clips uh, imported, let me just load one of these clips into the source bin. I can do that by double clicking on this clip. I can use the playback controls in my source monitor to review my clip, or I can quickly mark an endpoint and an out point to select a part of my source clip. Once I have selected a part of my clip, I'm going to splice it into my sequence. Let me add a few more clips. So this is how you will be importing your XAVC clip into Avid Media Composer and adding them onto the timeline. The only thing remaining is to export this as a video clip. To do that, I'm going to make sure that my sequence is selected. I'm going to go into the file menu and choose the export option. From the export panel, I'm going to click on the options button. From my export settings, I'm going to first change the export as option to a QuickTime movie. I'm going to change the codec type to custom. And from the format options, I will go into the video settings and change my compression type to Apple ProRes 422. Click on OK. In the audio settings, I'm going to make sure that my quality is set to best and the sample rate is 48 Hz. Click on OK. I'm going to change my color level to Rec 709 and click on the Save button. I will save the clip on the desktop. Let's give it a name. And I'm going to click on the Save button. My clip starts rendering. To export a one minute clip to ProRes, it took my machine about two and a half minutes. 
Now these render times may differ based on the configuration of your system. For reference, I have mentioned in this chart render times on my machine for a few important formats. I hope this video helped you in understanding how to work with Sony XAVC material on Avid Media Composer. Thanks for watching this video.